I'm Julie Lovison with the Lakeshore Music Studio in Chicago. We're in, um, located in Sandburg Village at, uh, between Clark and LaSalle in uh, near North Avenue. And um, we offer piano lessons for um, students from four years old, our little kid programs, through school age students and then adults. We have a great group of happy adults too. And um, our studio, in non-COVID times is in a beautiful, a lovely landscape plaza and we call it our happy place because it's just so much fun to be there and see the community walking by. Our lessons are geared to be practical and help students of all ages learn how to play but also learn how to understand music theory so that they can do music in whatever way they want to, not just classical. We love it, but we also love Broadway. My associate works in church music quite a bit, so she's an expert at that. We love popular music. The kids now are crazy about anime music. This is all part of, of um, you know, making music in, my, in today's world. And our approach is to give you the tools to be able to do that yourself in whatever form you're going to follow. So um, the other distinguishing factor is that we like to get people together in small groups of partners or three or four together. And uh, again, from the four-year-olds through the adults and working together, we can learn to be collaborative musicians. Although we do do some one-on-one, -on -one, most of our philosophy is about getting people to learn together in groups, which is, you know, you share the creativity, you share the ideas among each other's, you share the pain of trying to get your hands put together. So it's, it's just a wonderful place to be. Online teaching with piano community has not been an unknown idea. People have been talking in the conferences for years about Skype lessons, or perhaps, you know, you might want to have a master class with some, you know, great teacher in New York or something. And, you know, those options have been explored in our conferences. So it wasn't a new idea. Most of us have been a little late to actually jump in and figure out how to do it. But when COVID came along, this was the time. And so the whole piano community embraced the idea. In fact, one of the piano teacher major organizations sponsored seminars every day, our seminars where people would present some of the best ideas for doing this. And not only would we watch the presentation, but over in the chat box, all the teachers were giving ideas, you know, share, well, this is the best platform. Well, this is how you get the sound this way and all the questions that might come up. So, you, you know, you had one eye on the chat box to see everybody's collective ideas plus the speaker. So um, by the next time the week uh, came to start, I just lined everybody up, put a little gap time in between to kind of regroup in case I needed to adjust. I think the students were so grateful to have this, the sense of continuity in their life and doing something that was, that was normal, that was normal. And so it was, it was a big um, a salve in the middle of all the confusion of school and everything. So, and then I, I continued through the summer and um, in the same format. Um, summer was good because people's plans were changing by the week as situation changed in COVID. And so they would find out that they couldn't go overseas to visit their grandparents or they couldn't go to camp because camp ended up being closed. So they had, you know, sitting in the house all day with nothing to do. And so lessons became a great positive thing for them to do. In the spirit of feeling that students will practice what they're most interested in, we explored a lot of different interesting projects including one summer project we took um, pieces that the students had been working on and um, thinking about this whole electronic media and how we're all visually oriented right now we put out the idea to um, make a music video of their piece so we had an end of summer recital that was not just a, a summer uh, performance of the piece but the ch students chose a video to put on top of it um, because that's something they probably might like to do in life at some point, either as a profession or as, a, as an advocation. And we got some interesting ranges from uh, one girl put hours and hours into a great anime 
um, another one did a step action, um, and then others did, you know, chose uh, summertime photos or, you know, just pictures or videos, and, and they all came out a little different. One of them did a graphic novel, uh, like a, you know, a nine-year-old version, and <laughs> had the scary music with it that she improvised and so. Well, in our um, normal lessons, the students come in and um, there's, they're warming up and there's, it's like an orchestra warming up, you know, there's, there's, they're playing, especially, for example, 11 year old boys, you know, they're playing with a band and they're just pouring their heart out into, and you've got all this great song and sound and you've got these pianos, multiple grand pianos going and it's just, um, a lot of excitement, musical excitement. And we have a big, beautiful board where we drop um, musical notes on and we play musical games. And, and uh, there's just so much interpersonal connection. So the online lessons, originally I did one-on-one. -on -one and um, after maybe a, a month or so, the partners who are used to seeing each other and don't go to the same school were asking about each other and saying, when are we gonna see each other? So, so I started doing some partner lessons again and found that they worked just about as well as they do in, in person, um, especially with you know, the fact that you can mute while one student's practicing and, and focus on another one. Or if my groups were bigger, they could even go into breakout rooms for a little bit. Or on Zoom, I like that you can share the screen and then I, you know, we can put a little music uh, bingo game up and play a game together. Um, and so we could duplicate most of the things that we did in the, in the partner lesson at the studio. So the essence of what we're doing is, is the same. I'll give the example of the high school girl who she had stopped lessons for a while and she couldn't go to school. She couldn't see her friends. She's a senior, about ready for her life to begin. She's st stuck in the house with her parents and her little sister all day. <laughs> the parents, you know, called and said, um, can you give some lessons? I think it would improve the mood in our house a little bit. So it immediately cleared the air as something to do, to, to do something that, she, you know, was such a release of, of emotional, uh, a release and a way of focusing. And, um, you know, that's one example. The other is, I think, just the continuity of being um, the familiar face. And in the case of, of in fall, we continued on the online um, lessons format, um, thinking that the schools, we didn't know, they were still trying to figure out their scheduling and um, at any day, they might, the parents might get a notice, well, next week we're doing half day school, in person, half day not. Their schedules were always changing. So we thought, well, we'll be the constant variable, you know, constant. At the same time, I have tried to be flexible, more flexible than I do in my usual lessons in terms of if we, if we need a temporary schedule, you know, because, you know, things come up and I'm trying to be the, the person that's not, not the trouble and, but more of an enhancer in people's lives. In terms of some new students, some uh, students, adults have found that they have time in their lives now that they always wanted to play and, you know, their home, this is their chance to do it. And so I've had some wonderful new students that, you know, are, are um, really enjoying and I can, I, it makes me so happy to see them say something like, um, wow, that was fun or I can tell when they're playing really happily, the joy is just coming out of them. And so it's a big awesome. deal. It's a big deal having, having arts in our lives. Think about some of the creative ways that you can support a small business. So, you know, with restaurants, you know, most, of course it's, um, you know, buying takeout, for a restaurant, that's an obvious one, but for 
For lessons, it could be that somebody, you're asking somebody to, you know, make a special concert greeting or something. I have a friend who, a, a former student, who do, offers personalized um, greetings with a song, you know, a, a song request. And so that's a, a, a service he's providing. And uh, his, his name is Stephen Solomon, and he does a great job of it. Um, but that, it, that kind of thing, you know, for an artist, you can maybe com commission something special for a friend or for musicians, certainly, you know, I, I mean, I think um, the idea of uh, just a, a one, you know, a few lesson trial lessons is, is a nice gift. you're still the same person doing the things you do in the same way. And you just have to find a, um, a technological way to make it happen. Many of my lessons are simply done just with FaceTime, just with a phone. Um, it, you know, you can use an iPad or a computer. You can get it um, things more robust in terms of how you do it. And you, you can have several different angles. Um, I do a lot of my lessons with just what face to face like this because with my ear I can hear what what notes are right and what notes are wrong and whether somebody's doing the right fingering by how smooth their their notes are coming out. So when I need to get a camera angle, I can just ask for a a side view. Um, but I like this face to face connection. I remember the first time I I um, had a lesson with a student who's kind of shy. And I looked at her eyes and I noticed, oh my gosh, her eyes are green and they're just beautiful. And um, I hadn't really not really looked into her face because she's kind of shy and reserved. And, you know, most of the time she's down like this. And so I, you know, I think that's part of my personality that um, has, I've responded to. Um, but what I was getting at is, oh, um, also in Zoom, one of the nice things is you can go in on several different um, accounts. So you can set up a camera that gives a, you know, a, a shot of the keyboard this way. And then you can, on another account, have a sideways view. So if you have two or three devices, you know, you can set up something that gives you several shot angles and you don't have to, I just, I have, I just don't bother. I just keep shifting the iPad here and there when I need to, but um, you know, I'm just a little less, more informal about that, but, but the opportunity, because you know, you make things work for your own personal style and personality and that's it. One student, I actually just do an audio lesson with all this time because she just hasn't gotten on to she doesn't I have an iPhone and she, her computer's in her bedroom somewhere else and you know so we've actually done eight months of just oral lessons and they feel the same it's been in my soul since I was before I was born my my parents um, both were musicians. My father played um, equally beautiful, accomplished classical music. He was a classical musician and he also um, played in a combo. So I grew up listening to, you know, standards from the 40s and, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s cocktail type arrangements. And so that um, world between the two has always been and meshed to me. Um, and there's just so very little difference between Chopin and um, the popular standards of, 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 you know, that we know of as the American songbook. So, um, so things that make my eyes light up is, you know, just a beautiful tone quality, um, a poetic, poetic, poetically expressed something, a turn of the phrase that goes this way instead of that way. Um, if there's a pianist at the at a restaurant, you know, that makes the evening a lot more fun for me. So. A 
first of all, I don't want to forget saying how much I, I really am indebted to my students um, for, you know, continuing with me because all of this um, happiness that I'm expressing is based on the fact that they, you know, have bought into this program as well. I mean, the concept, you know, and um, so I, I really, uh, I, I have gratitude to them. I think, um, you know, it is especially hard for some people and they probably feel like this is the, hopefully we all feel like there's a, um, <clears throat> a concept that if we just, you know, the end, the end of this is coming with the vaccinations and the, you know, there's a, the new year is bringing a lot of changes that, you know, we hope will be good forward directions. And uh, so if, if they can just hang in there, hang on, try to be um, as, uh, find new ways to do what they're doing. You know, they, you can't do it in the same way. You have to think of a new way and, uh, you know, just keep trying to find something that will let you do what you do and be the person that you are. Um, but in this, you know, take advantage of the electronic technological format. Hang in there and, uh, you know, keep doing what you love to do and find other people that love to do it. I think that the online cons the online world that we've been put into has been um, full of so many things that we've given up, but so many more things that we've uh, added in our lives. And if we go, if, when we go back to our in-person world, our online world is going to be so rich. Um, and we're not going to stop getting together with our f family and friends, you know, with, for those Zoom calls, you know, people that we didn't, weren't in the habit of doing because we were too busy going out to a play or going out to dinner or going shopping. We're going to keep those new things up that we've done. Um, we're going to have a chance to have um, lessons on snow days and lessons when you know people are sick and um, lessons with people in hawaii if they're if they move there um and uh i think it's it's going to add so much richness to our lives all the things that we've all collectively learned this year because we had to most of us some of us who aren't so easy easily adaptable you know would still be dragging our feet in ignorance, <laughs> technological ignorance. And so um, all of the positive things. I think the, the, um, the, the nice thing about the online lessons is the sense of, you know, I mean, just the warmth of seeing people's houses and seeing um, even with when celebrities get on and we're all reduced into this little box where we show a little bit of our world by what's behind us you know what what decorations do we have in in our house what what's behind us that's important enough to leave in the video that we're showing the world and we see celebrities out there just they're just folks you know they're folks sitting in their living room trying to have dinner and interact with people and do things that they like to do and be with their family and and so the whole concept of becoming human again stepping away from the busy world and all the distractions of what's out there and where you have to go and where you have to go you know it's just it's been a very good thing for humanity so so let's let's keep all those positive things when we're back out there in the world and and hang in there.